Welcome to episode 4 of Shadowgate. Logan Kane here, and we just unlocked this door, and we're gonna go through it. Well, that's scary. As you open the door, a wave of heat slams into you, making your eyes water. Well, see what's in there. This looks familiar to me, too. Very vague. Anyway, a wave of heat washes over you as you move into the next room. An intense heat, surely from the unearthly fires before you fill this large room. You get the feeling if I open that door, something bad happens. <laughs> As you head for the far door, a bright point of white light materializes above the bridge, pulling a cauldron of heat behind it. In a swirl of fiber, the singularity explodes and fashions itself into a creature out of your worst nightmares. This looks less nightmares than the dragon I saw. The beast hisses at you, blocking your way. Well, I don't know what to do, but let's throw our water elemental at him. Once released from the silver orb, the water elemental immediately extinguishes the flames in the fire pit before disappearing. The effect on the fire drake is disastrous. Unable to feed upon the magical flames, the dragon's power ebbs and the thing vanishes in a cloud of acrid smoke and feeble sparks. I'm glad I went back and grabbed him. The door sticks a little when you put your shoulder into it. It finally opens. Let's go on through. Silencing York. York the Skull already mentioned that you can speak to him to get hints. He also has a tendency to mouth off every now and then. If you'd like York to keep his quips to a minimum, simply click on him and select the hit icon. Repeat this process if you want him to pipe up again. Man, they're still giving us tutorial information this far into the game. Well, I think it's pretty clear what we need to do here. Bam. Let out a sigh of relief as the gear slips into place with a click. You attempt to turn the gear by hand, but the mechanism resists your efforts. Well then. Hmm. Whatever shall I do? I shall attempt to turn all of these by hand. And then I'll start casting spells on them. Oh, hush. Just let me cast my spells. Maybe number two will actually do something finally. Nope. Well, damn it. An ancient wrought iron gate rests securely within the carved stone frame. This type of gate can only be operated via a spell to raise or lower it. Oh, okay. Well, that one didn't work. Maybe it's this second one finally. Yeah, finally we're using it. Let out a long breath, gather your will, and chant the spell. Debris falls from the rocks above as the iron guard responds, lifting with a shudder and a squeal at opening the way forward. Wow, that's really creepy. Look at this. Some dude was reaching for that glyph and failed. And for the fun of it, what was the name of that spell again? Entra yeah, entrance. What we got here? Firmly attach the wall. Ring grows the power. Truly must have belonged. Let's check out this guy. Torn clothes of the dead figure. A rolled piece of parchment is all that catches your fancy. Well, let's open it up and see what it says. You read the elegant writing of the scroll. Brother Del Delden, please see to it that the circle chamber is prepared for the ritual. The circle Dez was in need of some repair. The last time we performed the... I am stuttering now. The time we performed the initiate spell on it, we have a young candidate ready for initiation. Once the rite is performed on the platform, please bestow him all authority and privilege commensurate with Acolyte of the Order. It is signed with the archaic letter L. <laughs> okay. There's nothing else, and if I try to use it, eh, nothing's interesting. What the? Can't do anything with it. Can I cast spells on it? Is there nothing else? Oh, I can go in there. Okay. Well, this looks terrifying. This chamber is dominated by an 
Intricately carved circle, wreathed by twelve stones, power pulsates from mystical symbols set within the floor. There's a scroll here. Unlock it. Well, much of it's... Uh, and in the end, the evil shall be thrice and returned. I shall, I first shall raise a, wand, a warden to bar the gates from opening. The second shall raise one of the carefree to travel the path of luck. The last shall raise a raven to remake what was undone. Letter is signed by Gabriel and includes a glyph which shows four vertical lines of varying height. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Oh, F2. Let's see what we get. Okay. Wow. Stairs. Entrance. All of these. I'll go ahead and grab that. Although it is in disrepair, the throne... Oh, it's a throne. Stands out from the rest. Carvings within stone are extremely deep. You take a seat on the stone chair. Somehow it just doesn't feel right sitting in this place. I thought maybe I thought these were pillars or something, but they're not. What about this? Is this still the throne? Adorned with strange, the stone of bliss emits an inner hum that assures you that it can be powered by a simple. That's what I wanted. Your eyes roll back in your head as you focus your will on the stone of bliss. Use for the word invoke, and unleash the spell. The image of Lakmir materializes within the obelisk. Ooh. Listen carefully to my words, boy. There were many who followed the path of the One. Worthy were they, and I counted them as brothers and sisters. Now only I remain. He who is called Timeless. I have fought the good fight, sending many of Talimar's horde back to the depths that spawned them. And though my power is beyond that of mortal man, it is not without limit. But why do I appear before you thus? Am I a ghost? <laughs> no. Surely I am more than that. This is naught but a projection. As my living being has sought shelter within my tower, it is here I continue my studies to aid you in what ways I can. I grow weary, but know this. I have glimpsed a vast power at the foundation of this castle. This power the Warlock Lord covets above all else. But he fears as well. A hero from the line of the ancients. <laughs> or so says Gabriel the Bard. Gird yourself against what is to come, simple soldier. And forsake me not. Follow the ways of the circle. Stray not from its path. You haven't been helping me very much. You just tell me some things, some story. That doesn't really help me. Straight not from its path. He finishes as he fades away. Nothing. Well, what good does that do? Let's try and invoke in that. Although your spell is powerful, the broken obelisk remains unfazed. Okay. Alright, well... Take a look at the stairs. I don't know why, I just started reading that in my head instead of actually reading it. Having been carved into the solid stone, a series of stairs leads upwards, ending at a closed door. Well, let's take a save and see what's up with this door. Well, not a closed door anymore. Now what happens if I look at it? Eh, it just says leading upwards. Alright, well, let's go for it. Not unlike the image in your dreams, the entrance to the inner keep of Castle Shadowgate stands before you, set with a heavy wooden drawbridge. Ooh, rope. I'll be taking that. Because I'll be able to use the rope with that. And then I'll be able to do that. 
take the rope and tie it securely around the iron hook. And the result resembles a grappling hook. Well, that was the idea. Struggle to turn the crank on the well that appears to be stuck. No, that doesn't work. Let's see, what else do we have here? I'm probably going to go in through one of the windows. What about this moat? The muddy bottom of the moat looks far from inviting. I wonder if I can use the stone on the well. Whoops. How about my grappling hook? Can I use my grappling hook on the well? Alright. Now the question is, which one of these do I want to go for? I'll go for the one on the right. Displaying an actor's expertise you did not know you possessed, you swing the grappling hook about your head a few times and let it fly. The hook catches the window slit of the castle wall. Can I take it? You yank on the end of the rope and free it from its position. Coiling the rope, you place the grappling hook back in your pack. I just wanted to know if I could do both. And I sure can. I guess I'll be going in the one on the left first. Just because it happened that way. So let's go up in here. You jump down into the muddy moat <laughs> before using the hanging rope to pull yourself up into the window above. The room is dry as a bone and apparently houses a mechanism that raises and lowers the drawbridge. A hum of power travels along the machinery. Well, what about this thing? Let's take a look at that. It's addressed to the Wizard Greylord. My friend, I will remain secure in my demence here in the Gatekeeper Mountains, guarding the Northern Passage. I failed at that. Look for my signal, Pry. If more come from the north, I regret that I must bring my most formidable pet with me, since I can only I can control it. The name Lul is, si is signed in a flourish at the bottom of the page. Well, I'm going to do something stupid. Oh, I, was, I thought that was a pry. I was going to light it on fire. Well, let's grab this. Hey, I said let's grab this. What about these chains? Just hit the lever. You swat the lever with your hand. With a rumbling, the chain moves and gears begin to turn. There's the unmistakable sound of a drawbridge being lowered outside. Alright, is there anything else here? It's out the window. Perfect size for a ranged defender of the castle. And that's going to say the same as it. A grappling hook is fastened. Okay, that's... Take window? Let's use the window. No, not like that. Let's... Yes, 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 yes. All the same stuff. Give me the rope. I am going to go ahead and try the other one. I can't resist that kind of stuff. If you've seen my last, if you saw my last Let's Play of Paper Sorcerer, you know that I cannot resist checking both. If there's two options, I'm gonna choose both. Okay, that's all it is. Stop with that. I just realized I can hit the r crates. Okay, I guess I found nothing useful in the crate. So there's nothing useful in the crates, it'll let me hit them? That's depressing. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna bring my rope with me, though. Hey, bats came out of the window I just came out of. That's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me grab my rope. And enter the inner castle shadow gate. Well, I'm terrified already. Taking a deep breath, you saunter across the drawbridge into the inner castle. Congratulations! <laughs> As you enter the grand hallway, a goblin jumps out from the shadows, surprising you with a war cry. While you backpedal, the beast tightens its grip on its weapon. What was it again? 
Right there. Look at that animation. Look at that drawing of a goblin. It looks pretty cool. I, I would get rid of the weird f mouth thing, but... It looks like it's some sort of undead goblin. A goblin, one of the ugliest you've ever beheld, stands in front of you, brandishing a weapon. Well, what do I do about this? Well, I have a hammer. I have a dark. I have stones. I guess I'll attack him with my dark. I mean, what else am I going to do? With more speed than you thought possible, the goblin anticipates your move and brings down its wickedly pointed cudgel. The weapon penetrates deep into your brain and puts an end to your brief, yet adventure-filled life. I thought my shield would help me. Today, death has claimed a hero of the realm. That's it? That's it for a death? Well, I don't really know what to do about this guy. Other than try and cast a spell on him. I don't think Invoke is going to do it. Maybe I can light him on fire. Nope, nope, nope. Just load. Oh, you're going to go through this every time? It is a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. No, I can skip it. That's right. At least this is really, really quick to reload and everything. So he's really fast. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab the ice elemental and see if he'll be able to help me with this so yeah be right back and we're back and i i had a couple ideas what if i tried to use my grappling hook over in that cave from where that dude was that shot the arrow at me i wonder if i could get up there another thing i thought of what if i wore a helmet <laughs> if i have a helmet on then just maybe he won't be able to get me. So here's the goblin. And I want to go ahead and cast the ice elemental on him. Because, I mean, I went through all that. The weapon penetrates deep into my brain. So, I couldn't use the orb on him. So... Tales of your great sacrifice shall be told throughout the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's try and equip the other helmet. Bam. I'm going to try and Dirk stab him. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to go and try and do something else, I guess. Yeah, it just goes straight through my... Straight through my helmet. Even though I'm a soldier, I can't fight a fast goblin. A sad thing that you're... So, what do I do next? I guess I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back. But I'm going to go through here and then try and back out to see what happens. I have a feeling that I'm just going to die even though I'm trying to back out. Yeah, I just die. Alright, I'll be back. And we're back again to test out this theory. I doubt it's going to work. I'm going to give it a shot. Can I use the grappling hook here? Oh, no. The grappling hook doesn't work. Okay. I am once again in a situation where I don't know what to do. Let's see. I can't use the Dirk. He's really fast, so none of this makes sense. Now, maybe if wearing this means he doesn't attack me? Pull the mask off your head and take a breath of fresh air. Hmm. I really, really don't know what to do. So I guess uh, I'll be back, and when I figure out what to do, you'll be the first to see. Alright, we're back again, and a quick talk to York gave me exactly what I needed to do. So here's the guy. Alright, York, what do I do? 
ugly thing, isn't he? Just knock him out and be on our way. I would not expect to punch him. A look of surprise flits across the goblin's face as you throw a haymaker at his jaw. With a sickening crack, the goblin goes down like a sack of potatoes. You shake your hand and mutter in satisfaction. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Although I don't trust he's dead, so... You deliver the coup de grace to the unconscious goblin, ending its life. You pat the goblin down, but fail to find anything valuable. Alright, well, there's a lot of torches around here. The Grand Hall is really adorned, lined with enormous suits of armor, which in turn guard a number of doors. But me, and the torch obsessions that I have, must have grabbed them all. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. What's this thing up here? Far above your head, a blue mass of energy pulses, perhaps powering something within the castle. Alright. Well, what about uh, these banners? The red fabric is worn and tattered. The threaded weave is dis need repair. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, this one's less worn than the others in the room. Must have gotten to this one. So this one is more recent than the rest. Ooh, what's this? Oh, nothing. Well, let's take a look at the armor. Despite its age, a suit of armor retains a high gloss, as if someone has been polishing it. You look for some way to put the armor, put on the armor, but its pieces are welded together. Retains high gloss, someone's been polishing it. Looks like those favors by the Riders of the Fall Reach. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with any of these. And I cannot, so let's do a quick save. And I'm gonna go under the door. I'm gonna go for the door that has the newer newer banner. Let's see what's over here. This large hall is dominated by a stained glass window rising to the height of the vaulted ceiling. Damn, that's a wow, I just looked up after I read that. That's an amazing window. Let's take a look at this scroll. Fendril, I have discovered a great weakness in our defenses. Since all we have the mark... Wow. That was my bad. Since we all have the mark, it is simply a matter of separating our heads from our shoulders. Then our remains can be used in the hidden approach, and the words will be engaged. Allowing those with the knowledge... I'm running out of breath. To trev the castle unopposed. One merely has to be within our walls for this to work. It is signed with three squiggly lines. This game is actually pretty amazing. You, sp you spot some slivers sticking out of the bottom of the chair. Okay. You're clearly in no position to sit on the chair, or to be more precise, the chair is in no position to be sat upon. Uncomfortable, and... Again, the same. What all do we have? We have this thing. Overturn wooden toes set with, and carved rosewood. There's too large to move around. Okay. And of course, the elephant in the room. An impressive window dominates the far side of the hall. The stained glass depicts a number of robed figures, each reaching for some type of conflagration in the heavens. Eerie glow highlights the action in the sea, almost making it come to life. <laughs> what is my thought? Well, let's throw a rock at it. You attempt to use the stone and stained glass fail to accomplish much of anything. Okay, what's this? Lining the fire into the banquet room, the massive fireplace sits cold and unused, gathering dust. Stick the lit torch up the flue, trying to see what might be hidden up there. Well, that's... Was there anything? That kind of leave me hanging here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go for the... Let's go for the heaven door. Door swings open with relative ease. Hallway appears to have seen very violent and intense battle. Well, there's torches, so they're mine. My torches. Well, let's go left. See if we can get ourselves killed. Oh. Well, that's not creepy. The castle's fortifications sit like an impenetrable wall against the relentless onslaught. Jeez, 
There's a combined onslaught and storm. Onslaught of the raging storm. Well, what do we have around? We have this thing. Standing on a base inscribed with words, Reliant Triumphant, a magical angelic, a marble angelic statue reaches to the skies, an empty slot set within its outstretched arm. Eh, there's a slot, there's a slot. Oh. Here, do you want to have a skull in your slot? Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for episode 4. I still want to say it. Get out of my head, paper sorcerer. Get out of there! That'll do it for episode 4 of Shadowgate. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy!